Hello, friends. Today we have a, a very important and interesting lesson. Do you know what I'm going to tell you today? Today I'm going to show you how to make these cool and trendy materials like this. Right now, they're really popular materials that look like glass. Oh, not glass, I mean metal, sorry. Let me find it. This is one of the examples I saw today. We can take a look at this element here. It's unusual. And let's focus specifically on its texture. What do we see here? Actually, texture is very simple. On the left, you can see what was able to create. You'll also be able to recreate it yourself today. And I will definitely explain to you how to do it. But before that, let's take a look at some references on Behance in to get inspired and to better um, understand how this is done, why it looks so beautiful, and so on. And if we look at this first example, what we see is contrast. Um, first of all, we have separation. Um, if we look at the right side, it's light and the gradient gradually fades into darkness, almost black. And also, if we look at the left side, we'll see the same thing, but um, here, the contrast is sharp, you could say. There's just a little, a little bit of light here. Also, if we look at this example right here, which we're going to make today, the same principle is applied. There you go. Let's also take a look on Behance to see where this is used. Here, for example, is some kind of metal. Let's open it and take a look. Well, this is something similar. Basically, if you dig a little deeper into today's lesson, click around on your own and study it, you'll be able to achieve a result like this. In fact, it's entirely possible. So watch the lesson. Also, guys, I want to let you know that the project we're working on today and um, this model, you'll be able to find it on my Patreon. The link will be in the description. You can study it, support me, and so on. And all the more... In the meantime, we found another similar material. Yes, in fact, it's very, very similar. Exactly what we need. Let's watch the video. There are no still shots, nothing like that. But right here, this is exactly what we need. Yeah. Cool. And let's find one last thing. Here's some other kind of metal. We've got a suitcase again. Suitcases are trending right now. But this is for real. It's very well done. It's very beautiful. So let's start making something like that. We open Cinema 4D as always. Import your model, whatever you have. The first thing I did was simply uh, create a material and apply uh, uh, metal to it. All right, that's the base. And just applied it basically uh, here it is. But what else we did was create a noise texture, a noise map, uh, which is exactly what gives that effect that we like so much in these projects. There's nothing complicated here, like this. Now this is already very complicated. And to do this, it takes much more time uh, to create uh, materials like these on this uh, robot. Here, even in a special program, we do what we do in um, Cinema 4D and Redshift here. Everything is worked out in detail. There's a whole team working on it. And that's completely normal. 
All right, uh, then. So the first thing we did was import our model into Cinema 4D. Ah, everything is straightforward. Next, I created the background there. As you can see, uh, it's just a simple light um, gray material. If you want to make the same one, you can check out my previous tutorial. I think it was there. If you go to my channel, you'll see a Starbucks. Cup, a bag, a box, I forgot what it's called. But you there, uh, there I told you how to make a background like this. That's it. After that, I set up the lighting in our scene. Honestly, there's really not enough of it here. It's not much, ah, more, but it's enough to make it look beautiful. We have mm, the main light source, mm, or rather the dome light, which let's turn on our camera now. Which gives it that beautiful movement. Here we have an HDR metal texture. And by the way, it will be available for download on my Patreon. After that, we created our main light source, which is placed at the top right to create contrast, excellent contrast in our case. And there you go. And also for aesthetics, I added a bit of orange fill light. So two light sources. And this is what we ended up with. But now, let's get to the main point, uh, to how exactly this metal material is created. How is it made? First of all, if we analyze mm, any metal, we see that there is some bumpiness here. This is called bump mapping. Usually, you can use some textures. But today we're just using the noise texture. It's already built into Cinema 4D. If we look here, these kinds of lines uh, are exactly what the bump texture creates. But in our case, uh, we have these little bumps that add realism to the metal. I'm thinking about where else I could show you an example. Let's check Behance now. I don't think uh, it'll take us long to find one. Uh huh. Let's see. Where, 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 where? Here, the texture is more detailed, uh, but the point uh, is that there are these little bumps that create our realism. How is this achieved? This is achieved thanks mm, uh, to this uh, node. Let's create it. Press Shift for C oh, and bring it into our scene. As a result, we get this kind of texture, which is very large and is simply applied over the entire object. What did I do with this texture, how did I... Settings, uh, first of all, I did uh, Asanos here. You can see it right here. Next, what else did I touch? That would be a, the overall scale. I set it to this value. If we leave it at the default of 100, it will be way too big. We need to set it to a very small value and because of that it gets duplicated and creates this beautiful realism for us I didn't change anything here and that's actually the secret why why and how there's no need to come up with any complicated elements here this is actually all you need to create projects like this or more precisely materials like these for such cool projects that will later get featured on Behance. You'll be getting ribbons, for example. Here I have my work uploaded on Behance. Mine has a ribbon. You can also check out the description, um, take a look uh, at this work, and give me a like. It would make me really happy. 
that's a form of support as well. Also friends, I'd like to ask you to like this video and uh, leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. It motivates me to keep sharing useful things with you and so on. So, like the video and subscribe to the channel.